Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about the relationship between average total cost and marginal cost. Okay guys, so the relationship between the average total cost curve and the marginal cost curve can be shown diagrammatically as follows. What we have is up on the y-axis we start off with the cost of production and down here on the x-axis we are looking at the quantity that a firm is producing. We'll also put in an origin point of zero over here on the bottom left. So an average total cost curve tends to be a u-shaped cost curve as drawn below and we label that average total cost. The marginal cost curve is more j-shaped and cuts the average total cost curve at its bottom point just as indicated here. In order to show the relationship what we're going to do is we'll start off with a firm producing Q1 quantity of output and we'll see at Q1 quantity of output that there's a gap between the average cost of production up here let's call that 10 euro and the marginal cost of production and let's call that 5 euro. So at a quantity of 1 a firm produces its very last unit of output and it costs it 5 euro. On average for all of this output accumulated it costs it 10 euro on average. So if the extra thing costs you less than the average what has to happen is the average cost curve has to fall as indicated here. And that continues on up to our second point on our graph. And the second point we're going to look at here is at Q2, where we have a marginal cost and average cost equal to the same thing. And let's put that in as a cost of 7. So at this point, the firm is producing at a cost of 7 euro on average. And the extra cost of production for the last item produced is also 7. And that's the only point where they cross on the graph. The very last point then is over here and let's call it Q3 and over here at point Q3 there again is a gap between marginal cost and average cost. Here the average cost is just over 7 euro so something like 7 euro 50 and the marginal cost is way up here at about 15 euro. So at a quantity of 3 the very last thing produced is costing you 15 euro but the average cost of all those uh, units from 0 up to Q3 is only 7 euro 50. So in that case if marginal cost is higher than the average the last unit sold is increasing the average cost of production as shown on the graph. I hope you call back to Cultonomics soon. Bye for now.